Kids, I thought we should talk about a game plan for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Oh, I say we follow the Connor tradition, spend every dime we have on Halloween, and then we have nothing to be thankful for or buy gifts with. I think the reason people tune into the show and tuned into the reboot that we did it last year was the amount of joy that comes off the, the screen. In the Connors, you know, we're dealing with a change in dynamics, obviously, because we've lost our matriarch. And whenever that happens in a family, I think there's a reorganizing of the structure, who has to fill in and step in and carry the weight that that, that was left behind in terms of making the, fam the house run and keeping the family together emotionally and things like that. So, um, that's where we are. I would say it's something that people can relate to because it's something that everybody goes through at some point. That's I think it's good. great. This is a resume shot. You want to pull, pull that back chair out of there? You know, the missus is dead three weeks, um, and it's showing people how, how we are adjusting to grief because we do have a big hole in our family here, and it, it's, it's tough. Connors are still grieving, but also really coming together in their grief and um, just doing a lot of reflecting. And I think that, you know, part of when things shake up a family system that is also could give incentive for growth and progress. And I feel like in everyone's way, they're trying to turn around um, their grief and turn around their lives still. I always like when people watch anything that I do if they feel like they connect to the characters. So if they watch the cloners and they feel like that seems like my family, I understand that situation, I've felt like that before, or they get a little more understanding into who they are by watching us, I love that, so that's my hope. I hope that audiences feel comfortable still with the family that they that some people have really grown up with and remember fondly you know and and I think that and I that they come away with a bit of that nostalgia which is a nice thing to have and you know um, be able to pull out when you when you feel like you need it but also that the show is staying current so I think that the writers have got a really nice blend of those two things I always like when people watch anything that I do if they feel like they connect to the characters. So if they watch the cloners and they feel like that seems like my family, I understand that situation, I've felt like that before, or they get a little more understanding into who they are by watching us, I love that. So that's my hope. It was great coming back last year, but the real gold mine was watching the kids now as adults really developed their craft. They, uh, um, they really turned into fine actors. And uh, I don't know why it would surprise me. They're all smart and talented, but uh, I guess because I still look at them as kids. I still see them as kids and they're so good. And I, it's just a pleasure to work with them.